Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today I've, uh, I'm going to make a uh, note card with the stamp set. In fact, it's almost a sweet because it's the stamp set, Friends of Like Seashells that I've used. I've also used the Cut and Emboss um, folder um, and the dies uh, for the um this die in here so these are the seaside seashell dies so i've used the large one of that as well so what i did is i um i cut out in white card stock uh the um using this die and then i uh stamped on all the image so if you can uh, see on the embossing folder it shows you the image so I stamped on each one of them because there is a stamp that goes on so like obviously that one is that one and th there's all these stamps for you to use there isn't stamps for uh, these little bits of uh, the seaweed um, there is a stamp that you've got uh, kind of for, for that type of seaway but it doesn't fit on any of these and there's a little bit of it there as well so um, there is some infill uh, bits as well that you can use I haven't used those today because I've just purely uh, stamped the image so what I've done is I've um, used uh, so saffron um, Melon Mambo, Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo and Seaside Spray. These are all the colours and there's also Sahara Sand that is in the set. But what I've done is I've gone through the set and I have uh, detached all from the... Because um, it comes all together and I've, I've cut it. But I've left... The bits of seaweed on this one and I've left the bits of seaweed on this one um, but the rest I've cut and detached and um, I've I've detached these now what I've also done is when I cut them all I have used my all-purpose ink uh, uh, in the frosted white to go over them because this then gives you can see that shine on them gives them the pearlized look so i've gone that now for my actual bits of um seaweed i've used um the shaded spruce mossy meadow and the granny apple green and i've just purely dobbed over them uh, with my sponge daubers so uh, I'm probably not using that bit but um, these little bits I've got so we're gonna use those I've also ahead of time I've used the stitch so sweetly and I've cut out the largest of the um, the shape and the smaller one and then I've used the stamp set um, over occasions and just stamped out thank you for your kindness and just coloured these two in with the mossy meadow so those are the two that I've coloured in in mossy meadow right so we're going to start off with a piece of um, seaside spray and this measures four and one eighth by five and uh, seven eighths I have then used the, um, what's it called, the paper. The paper's called Sand and Sea Designer Series Paper. So I've cut a piece from uh, the saffron, so saffron that's going into like the Melon Mambo and Blushing Bride. And this is five and five eighths by... 10 and 3 eighths and you're going to score that at two and a half 
So it's going to be scored at two and a half. Then at, um, I'll just check that again. So that's two and a half. Then at six and a half and fold it. Sorry, I'm wobbling my camera. And then, so you're going to fold the largest one going in and the smaller one to go on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this in the center of our piece so i'm just going to glue this now um you can choose to actually uh do another piece of whisper white i haven't done this at the moment but you could choose if you wanted to write a longer note to a friend you could choose to do another piece for um your back of your seaside spray so i'm just gonna put that in the middle so so that's gonna go in the middle there there we go i'll just pop that down and then i have got my uh starfish going inside so then i have got a piece that measures uh, three and three quarters by five and three eighths and we're going to um, put this inside now because I want to use this as a note card I am not going to stamp anything on the inside so that I can fully write on this I'm just going to let my sentiment just be that on the outside. So I'm going to pop this in the middle. I'll just make sure I get even increments there all the way round. And then using the bits of foliage, I'm going to pop these on the bottom with my shell going to go on the top so I'm just going to decide how I want to arrange them I can't remember I think I had it like that and then that one's come in there in the bottom so I'm going to arrange it like that to give it a bit of interest on the uh, inside so I'm just going to uh, so these are all attached this one that I'm just gluing now is totally attached I'm just going to pop that down in the corner there. Hold it a second or two. And then this one I think I'm going to have there. So this is going to go on the top. so that's going to go about there and then this one now I'm not putting these upon dimensionals because of um, it needing to close so these are not going to go on dimensionals and then I can put my seashell on there just hold it I'll just make sure no glue is coming out of the top so then I'm going to use the biggest flap to fold over and then the smaller one to fold over on the top um no oops. am I going to do it yes I'm going to do it that way oh, I think I did it upside down right I'll change the way I'm going to do it then think now so what I'm going to do is place this on the side but I'm going to go underneath with ribbon first so I've got some seaside spray, so it's going to go down into my label and come up the other side. So I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And then this will go round the back like this so that will be in that position uh, I'm just going to leave a nice bit of a gap there now I am going to do it so that the label 
is going to be glued to this side which means we can take this off and this will open like this so I'm going to glue the label now I'm going to use some double sided sticky tape some double sided sticky tape have I left that I can't have left it out what have I done with it well I did have a big thing of double sided sticky tape and uh, I seem to have misplaced it so I'll have to use my strong adhesive tape instead can't understand what I'd have done with that, but this will work the same. So what I'm going to do is just move that and I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle of my uh, label just to secure my ribbon in place. So I'm just going to put a bit in there and then, uh, oh, I have, I did get it out, it's there. Okay, now my scissors i'm not with it today i had my covid job yesterday <sighs> feeling a bit off today right okay so just remove that and just make sure i've got plenty of ribbon to tie myself a bow and then secure that in place okay <coughs> so that's on there like that and that's enough to tie my bow so we'll just move that out of the way now I want to be able to glue this so I'll just move that I'm going to glue this on this side only so I want now to just put half of it so I'm just going to glue down half my label I'll put some of my ribbon on top so just gonna hover it because I have got some foliage that I want to put on so, so I feel that I did actually want to put it that way let's see bring it down a little bit more yeah so i'm going to put it a bit further down so i'm just making sure that my label is in the middle so I'll just remove that a minute so i've got that in the middle equal distances there and there okay and so that will be able to open up like that but then the top, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. But I want to, I want to bring it so that it goes into my top corner. So I'm going to get my dimensionals. I've just got them all out. Yes, they're up here. So I'm gonna get a couple of dimensionals. So I need it to make sure that it only glues on so I think if I pop one there so I want it to go round the word and we we'll, can pop one up in that corner there so there's that one and that one so I'm shaping it round my word a little bit so that's going to go in the top corner and that's okay at the back okay so we can stick it a little bit more so i'm going to pop another one in this corner here so that will support it and that will go on the label so that works out for the label Just gonna push it in with my scissors I 
just came a little bit too far out so just push that in with your scissors so now that's holding that in position i'll bring that back round there and then i'll put this going down at the bottom here and again that can go on dimensionals so i can put a few safely i think on here yeah and i'm just going to stick a mini dimensional in that corner to just support the tail end so let's just get i've got a mini there so this one right in the corner there so let's just see again yep that's fine so we'll just pop those off and then that's just gonna pop in there like that that's going over so as we open the card that's not interfering at all with um, stopping it from opening and then we're just going to uh, tie this now so we're going to tie it on this side so I hope I've left myself enough ribbon okay so this is the seaside spray oops okay Daisy now might have a look at that in a minute so let's to that into that into that there we go now because i will want to write on this i don't like to cut my ribbon until i've absolutely finished now i'm just looking at my um seaweed that's coming off uh, and i'm just wanting to secure that a little bit further down so on my minis I'm just going to cut a minute little bit off to stick on the corner because where the ribbon is is catching, I just want to be able to stick it on there. There, there we go. And just pop that down to give that some support there so that it's stopping it from catching. So thank you for your kindness. So I think that really makes it with the, the seashells on um, really pretty. So you've got inside and then we um, open it up and you can write your message of thanks in here uh, to send. And if you wanted to write more, you could... Um, put a piece on the back and write on there as well you could do some stamping on that i am going to leave that blank because um it's only a quick thank you so it would be nice just to um have that uh space just in there and if i feel it's a bit bare after i've finished uh, my thank you then i could stamp on it but um i think that will be fine so just going to tie that because you tie your bow different each time. That's why I don't want to cut it until I've wrote inside and then ready to send it. So uh, we could also use some of our... Um, what's the name? Uh, they are called opal rounds. So we're going to use some opal rounds. Got a little bit more onto it. So these are really iridescent, so they're really, really pretty. Go nice with a water theme. So I'm not sure if this is part of the um, suite or not. I'll just uh, check for you as I um, just, there we go. So just put those on there. Really sparkly, really lovely. 
and the um the sheen on the uh yes um did you catch the colors it's um you might have done the same colors i'm not sure seaside spray of course flirty flamingo blushy and bride melon mambo and so saffron and these uh, are all the colors that are in the paper because it tells you on the back of the paper um the colors and uh, i don't know did i say sahara sand in that one and this sahara sand as well but i haven't used uh, sahara sand because uh, i've not got any of the sand colors but um i think that's pretty um and as I say, I will look that up for you. The actual um, suite is in the mini uh, catalogue that's still going at the moment. I think it's got some out of here. So, and it will be probably for the paper while stocks last. So I'm not sure whether you can still get it or not. Because um, it... It does go on until June, this um, one. Can I just check? The actual um, the uh, stamp set, the embossing folder and the dies are all in the annual catalogue. So they are going over, but it will be your paper that finishes. So um, here it is. So in the, oh yes, it is the opal rounds are with the sweet. Um, if you buy the sweet, um, it has the stamp set, the dies, the uh, embossing folder, and it's absolutely stunning. The embossing folder because you can just and just do a sheet on its own. Um, with I don't know whether you can see uh, the detail on here but uh, it shows you better in the black and white for me to show you on film it's absolutely stunning and when it's done in the seaside uh, spray it looks absolutely fantastic there is a little bit of a sorry a bit of a picture um, there that they've uh, distressed it a bit as well it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and if you use the uh, all-purpose ink on top of it the frost white it gives you that beautiful look how shiny that is the pearl eyes you could use wink of stella um i really like this it makes it feel smooth as well it's lovely uh so it is really a uh, lovely set lovely paper i just love the colors that they're, they're all the papers in it i just love the colors um so i didn't get the suite but i have got the stamp set and the dies the embossing folder the opals and the uh the paper i didn't bother with the pearlized essence because i've got plenty of this and wanted to start to use this up and you could get some stickers and i didn't bother getting the stickers so they're the only two elements that i haven't got out of the suite um but it is absolutely gorgeous uh there's so many lovely sentiments on the actual stamp set happy birthday to a beautiful friend you are unique and completely amazing friends alike seashells you collect them along the way so happy i found you wishing you the very best for you thank you love you to the beach and back and as i say you've got all these lovely ones so uh, i'm assu assuming now looking at this then that uh, extra stamp that you get stamps on there to give it more color that one will stamp on there that one will stamp on there and that one will stamp on there and that one will stamp on there as well so you can um, use those to stamp on on top of these but i didn't i just purely uh, did the stamping from the stamp and then the embol you can see in how beautifully it really gives it depth and dimension that putting it in the embossing folder uh it's fabulous absolutely fabulous so i really love it um so here's the little one so i've got uh, that little one remaining i think 
uh, and that's about it from the oh and, and just this little tiny bit so out of all that um the embossing um the die cutting out the die and the um and embossing it the only things that i didn't use are these two which i can save to use on another card so i always save you bits because that's already got the lovely sheen on it so i can use them on other things so i have kind of a, a bit box that i'm saving that all scraps of different things i'm putting together and then you can pull them out when you want to do that so i uh, hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for tuning in and watching um i think i'm telling you wrong i have been telling people it's 156 pounds that you get to spend um when you pay 99 but i think uh oh i don't think it tells you in here does it um i heard somebody say 153 um so because it's on my phone i can't uh double check so um it or 154 it, it's somewhere between 154 and 160 uh 156 pounds um and i forgot to check it before i came live so sorry about that but all you've got to do is spend 99 pounds uh and you can choose We'll say it's 154 because I could have been wrong with the 156. So you can you uh, spend 154 pounds in the catalogue and buy absolutely anything you want, uh, and then you will get discount um, from then on uh, for at least six months without uh, having to spend a great deal of money after that. So you can um, run it down and run it out if you want. Um, you get the business supplies with uh, the when it, your uh, starter kits come, but you don't have to use it. There is no obligation whatsoever. As soon as you've uh, had the order, you can cancel being a demonstrator. However, I would um, stay as a demonstrator just because you'll have the perks for um six months where you can look and see uh what's coming up what's coming out um be able to order things early um and of course get the discount so uh, i have already got a, a discount shopper on my team i'm very happy for discount shoppers to be on my team you don't have to um film or sell anything it's not like that it's completely up to you it's my choice that i am actually filming it's my choice that uh, i'd like to um, get customers but you don't have to do any of that right thank you very much for tuning in if you are on my youtube channel i ask that you would subscribe and um, press the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos uh, thank you very much for dropping by um, you um, can uh, go to my shop that's on my business page and there will be a link in my youtube channel uh, to go back to my business page um, so you can do that but uh, or you can just shop straight from my uh, business page, which is uh, my Stampin' Up! business page. So thank you very much, as I say, for dropping by. Um, and I will see you again Monday. Thank you. Bye.